Welcome to the first ever Strawberry Land Cooking Show. Today, we'll be showing you all sorts of recipes, including one of my favorites. And here to start things off is Miss Blueberry Muffin. Whoa, a cooking show with my Strawberry Land friends? This I have to watch. And don't worry, they probably can't see your shoes. Um, thanks. And, um, you can go now, Angel Cake. Today, I'm going to show you how to make ice cream pie. Now, the very first thing to do is... The first thing is, ask a grown-up permission before you do anything in the kitchen. That's right. And thank you, Strawberry. Now we begin with... We always begin by washing our hands. That's right, Angel Cake. We always ask a grown-up for permission, and we always wash with soap and water. Here's what you'll need to make the recipe. One 9-ounce pack of chocolate wafer cookies, one stick of butter, two pints of ice cream, and some whipped cream if you like. I know I do. We'll need a medium-sized bowl that can go in a microwave, and a rolling pin, some wax paper, a 9-inch pie plate, and a spoon. First off, we turn the oven on and set it to 350 degrees. Then we put the butter in a bowl and put it in the microwave. We heat it up on a very low setting, just till it's nice and melted. You need to lay out a sheet of wax paper and put some of the chocolate cookies on top. Then you cover the cookies with more wax paper and use the rolling pin to crunch them up real good. Keep crunching until you crunch them to crumbles. When the butter's melted, put on a glove, because that bowl could be hot even when you use the lowest setting. Now you pour the crumbs in with the runny butter, so they start to stick together. Stir them. And when it's cool enough, like this bowl here, use your hands to mix the whole thing up. Now put them in the pie plate and squash them flat. That's how you make the crust. Next, it's time to carefully put it in the oven. Now we bake this for 8 minutes at 350 degrees. Now you take it out and let it cool off. Remember the ice cream? I left it out of the freezer so it'd get nice and soft. Now we spread the gushy ice cream in the pie crust. Then we freeze it till it's good and frozen. And that usually takes about 2 hours. Here's one I made earlier. Looks pretty good, huh? And if you want, you can put whipped cream on top. Doesn't it look nice? It's Blueberry Muffin's own ice cream pie. What now? Oh, we need our next cook? Hey, Angel Cake, come on, it's your turn. Oops, can't keep the fans waiting. <laughs> uh, camera's still running? Angel Cake is on the set. Hello, Strawberry Land. Now it's time to make the best ever recipe, my favorite fudge. Here's all it takes to make the fudgiest fudge you've ever tasted. Some semi-sweet chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, sweetened condensed milk, and a little vanilla. We'll also need an 8 by 8 inch pan, some wax paper, a medium pot, a wood spoon, measuring cups and spoons, a cutting board, and a knife. First, we line this pan with some wax paper. We add one and a half cups of sweetened condensed milk, one cup of the semi-sweet chocolate chips, and one cup of the milk chocolate chips, and we carefully put this on the stove. Then, we stir and stir until all the chocolate chips are melted. Now we turn off the stove. Add two teaspoons of the vanilla. We stir it in real, real good. We pour it all into the pan and we spread it out flat with a wooden spoon. Now we put it in the refrigerator and let it stay there for four or five hours until it's nice and firm. Here's some I already made. It's good and cold. And now we can take it out of the pan and peel off the wax paper. We set it out on a cutting board and very, very carefully cut it into squares. And that's how you make Angel Cake's all-time most ever favorite fudge. <laughs> Strawberry, it's your turn. Thanks, Orange Blossom. Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of my very favorite treats, Cookie Pops. We'll need some flour and some baking soda, a little salt, some butter, sugar, an egg, and a bit of vanilla extract. We'll need a baking tray, some foil, two bowls, a sort of medium one, and a bigger one, some measuring cups, and spoons a mixer, flat wooden sticks like these, a spatula, and one wire cooling rack. For starters, we'll get the oven warmed up to 350 degrees. Then we gotta line this tray with our foil. We measure
measure out two and a half cups of flour and add it to the medium-sized bowl. Then we measure one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and add that. And then half of a tiny teaspoon of salt. Then we gotta put these two sticks of butter, nice and soft, into this bitter bowl. We measure one and a half cups of sugar and add that and mix it up good. We gotta let it mix till it's kinda like a cream. Now we crack open one egg and add that in. Now mix that up too. Then we add, then we add... Is something wrong, Angel Cake? No, no, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. Just remember, don't slouch. Thank you, Angel Cake. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. We add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then we take the first bowl with the flour mixture and pour it all into the other, slowly. We'll turn the mixture on medium and let it go for about five minutes until all those ingredients are mixed together. 